peace infinite waters diving deep once again beautiful deep divers we are out here in nature baby you can hear that bird over there we got the bamboo over there gorgeous day how to recognize your desires are coming into fruition you're finally starting to bear fruit go to the next level let's just Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. That's the question that came in. Ralph, yes. How does one know one's desires are coming into fruition? Great question. If you've got a question, add us on Instagram at Infinite Waters. That's the only place I check. So we are about to dive really deep. I'm talking from first hand experience starting from scratch with nothing and becoming somebody kind of and we ain't even had breakfast yet can i get a hello <laughs> you don't have to become somebody okay you don't have to become somebody you already are however i've realized that you have to step into that place you truly want to be okay and that's a secret to really begin to recognize your deepest desires are coming into fruition, what's helped me along my journey, first and foremost, is to realize if your thoughts, words, and actions are working in tandem, working together. There is a beautiful coherency between your thoughts, your words, and your actions. You're not trying to do something, you are actually doing it. You're getting it off the ground. You wanna write? I have a thought about writing. Now you're actually writing. You wanna start a business? You're not just thinking about it, you're actually making the moves to make it happen. And that's how you know your desires are coming into fruition. You're not leaving it up to chance, up to fate. You are making it happen. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> you see, a lot of us, we are not impeccable with our words. And that's one of the four agreements, okay? Be impeccable with your word. You know your desires are coming into fruition when everything you say, you actually end up doing. You don't say, okay, I'm going to start this today, and you don't start it. You Make sure whatever you say, the words coming out of your mouth will become physical realities. You make it happen. How to recognize your desires are coming into fruition. You're starting to bear fruit. It's harvest time. You see, what's helped me along my journey is to realize this, plain and simple. Many of us, our desires are not coming into fruition because first and foremost, we don't know where to start. So we try and do everything. I knew my desires were coming into fruition when I learned how to concentrate and do one thing at a time. I'm no longer multitasking. It's what I call concentrated focus. For many years, I was just working on infinite waters that one thing taking one small step at a time and before you know it it's grown and it's going to keep on growing okay that's how you know your desires are coming into fruition it's where you make time for your desires okay you water the seeds you give them sunlight so they can grow you don't water a million seeds or you can try and do that but you'll probably run out of energy so make sure you have this concentrated focus getting specific on what it is you want to bring forth into your life and work on it every single day consistency is key give it attention every single day attention is key give it love every single day love is key and before you know it you will start having that desire in your physical reality how to recognize your desires are coming into fruition 
You aren't scared. No, you're not scared any longer to work on weekends, okay? You are ready to do it. That's right. <laughs> you're ready to work on weekends. You're ready to put in the extra effort. Now, I meet people all the time who are like, Ralph, I want to start getting into content creation. And I'm like, that's great, but are you prepared to work on the weekends? No, Ralph, I can't be bothered for that. Then it's going to be a little bit hard. You see, people who manifest, and I can attest to this, are people who go the extra mile. They're not afraid to create on weekends, which means you know your desires are coming into fruition when you are prepared to sacrifice. That's right. Everyone's saying, let's go out. But you're like, hey, I've got to work on a vision. You're like, hey, I've got to work on my dreams. That's how you know your desires are coming into fruition because you want it that bad, you are ready to do whatever it takes. A lot of people aren't there yet. But if you are, then relax because it's coming your way. Seven Day Vegan Challenge, how to know your desires are coming into fruition. You are investing in your health. You're not complaining, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. Yeah, it is. But your health is far more valuable. Sometimes I know what it's like. If you are doing the seven day vegan challenge, you might see some cold pressed pineapple juice and it could be $10 and you're like, oh my gosh, that's so expensive. I agree, it is. But once again, your health is more important. It's worth it because what it will do for you in the long run is that it will be the catalyst for helping you become your greatest version. When you are eating foods with live enzymes, beautiful leafy greens, beautiful nuts, beautiful fruits, mangoes, papaya, watermelons, strawberries, of course, all of this is the catalyst to jumpstart you to propel you to go to the next level. And that's when I started to realize, that's when I started to realize my deepest desires were starting to come into fruition when I was putting that money up to invest in health foods. Sometimes I would go into Whole Foods rich and come out broke, but I was eating good, okay? Go to your local farmer's market. You can actually eat healthy, at a reasonable price, right? You can eat healthy at a reasonable price if you go to your, locals, your local farmer's market, even buy from the cat down the road, okay? But that's how you know things are coming into fruition because you are changing what you are putting into your body vehicle. You're only putting the best fuel in to take you to the best places. How to know your deepest desires are coming into fruition they're coming into fruition, baby, baby. What's helped me is that I am no longer in the waiting room. Okay, I don't take a long time to do anything these days, but I do it with care and I do it with love. And that's how I know what I'm thinking of. My deepest desires are coming into fruition. When you stop being that, that's right, skeleton, that's right, in the waiting room, that's right, beautiful things will happen. A lot of people are like, Ralph, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to travel. I'm waiting for Friday. I'm waiting for the perfect partner. And guess what? It never, ever comes. There is no perfect time to do anything. You have to make the time right, right now. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Now, take this into consideration, beautiful deep divers, that it's gonna take a little while before you start seeing what you want come into your reality. But that time is the process time. That time is the practice time. Now you're sharpening your sword. You're learning more about yourself and you need that time. Be patient, great things take time. To know your deepest desires are coming into fruition. You have to learn how to be patient. You have to, you have to learn how to act and how to be passive. This is the way of the wizard. So I always talk about stepping into radical action. If you want to travel and meet someone, do it right now. That's great. 
However, you have to use radical action with patience. You have to know when to retreat and you have to know when to act. You have to know when to be active and you have to know when to be passive. So many times when I'm being passive, I'm going into a very meditative state. I'm taking time to relax from creating. However, I'm recharging myself, okay? Now, when it comes to recognizing your deepest desires are coming into fruition, you have to be ready 100% to act. You have to be ready to do a little samba, baby. You have to be ready to move. You have to be ready to stop thinking so much. No amount of thinking will stop not thinking. <laughs> okay, radical action is the secret to bring your deepest desires into fruition, but not just any kind of radical action, concentrated radical action, okay? Working on your strengths, working on what you are good at. That's how you know your deepest desires are coming into fruition. Not everyone has the same talents or gifts. Don't try and be a ballerina if you're not meant to do that. You're wasting your time. Radical action used badly. Work on what you are good at. You want to open up a vegan restaurant? You love food, you love preparing stuff? Work on it every single day and then eventually that desire will come into fruition. Work on what you are good at. Invest in what you are good at. Buy the tools you need to take you to the next level. How to know your deepest desires are coming into fruition. Let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. What's helped me along my journey is to learn, learn, learn from those who are already where you aspire to be. And how I did this along my early journey was to find a mentor. I was always studying under people. Okay, because I wanted to learn their secrets. And a great way to do this is to read someone's autobiography. Inside that autobiography, you have hundreds of mistakes they've made. Phew, you don't have to make them. That's a good thing. You've also got hundreds of lessons they've learned. That will help you. But also hundreds of secrets that will save you a lot of time and energy when you learn from people who you aspire to be like, okay? They've been there, done that. They can offer you their advice. All successful people always have mentors. They always have someone who can show them how to go to the next level. I had it too. And when I was studying under my mentor, I realized my deepest desires were coming into fruition because I was in good hands. My mom is also my mentor as is the cat down the road. How to know your deepest desires are coming into fruition. Baby, baby, you are not giving up obstacles, okay? Obstacles, hurdles, roadblocks, it's not stopping you. That's how you know your deepest desires are coming into fruition. I'm a Pisces, so I'm naturally rooting for the underdog. However, I've had my fair share of disappointments, and sometimes I really wanted to give up back then. But I realized inside of me, I had a voice saying, Ralph, don't give up, okay? And that's how I knew that, hey, if I can go through all of that and still be alive, nothing is gonna stop me. No obstacle, no roadblock, nothing. I'm gonna find a way. And that's what I did. And that's why I'm living a life of infinite abundance. To recognize your deepest desires are coming into fruition. You aren't caring what other people are saying. You see, there has, there has never been a statue erected of a critic. Okay, someone who was just putting people down. We don't remember the critics. They aren't important. What is important is how you see yourself cultivating beautiful relationships with people that matter to you the most, friends and family, and getting their support. If you give power to people who don't mean anything to you, if you allow them to dictate how you live your life, you aren't going to be 
manifesting. You are not going to be bringing your deepest desires into fruition. So for the first time, stop caring about what everybody thinks and start asking yourself, am I happy with this? Start accepting yourself today. And that's how you bring your deepest desires into fruition. How to recognize your deepest desires are coming into fruition. Baby, baby, what's helped me is to be gentle, okay? With myself and with you too. I'm doing the best I can. You see, whenever I'm being very kind on myself, very kind to myself, very gentle, I know that my deepest desires are coming into fruition. Because the moment you start trash talking yourself, you start blaming yourself about you blame yourself about what you could have done, should have done, would have done. You only make it harder for yourself to bring your deepest desires into fruition. However, if you are someone who is very kind to yourself, very lenient, very gentle, very compassionate towards yourself, you are practicing the art of least resistance and therefore things come into fruition. Sometimes it's not just about saying, it's not just about saying, I want, I want, I want. When you say I want, you are sending a signal to the universe that you don't have what you desire. Therefore, you will always remain in lack. For the first time, it's about saying I have, I have a lot, okay? And that's how you bring your deepest desires into fruition. Realize whatever you want is already here. And once you realize that, Deep Divers, well, you just say, Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful Deep Divers, we are out here in nature, baby, just woo, breathing in that good ass prana. Have a beautiful day, Deep Divers. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You. <laughs> and apparently the sun wants to say hi to you beautiful deep divers. Have a great day.